Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are headed to the bins to see what treasures we can find and upcycle and style in my home. I think y'all gonna enjoy today's video, so let's go ahead and get started. And I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this pillow. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love that so much. I just love these little hook and loop pillows. I have this little bunny one, but Easter is over. So let's move that out of the way, y'all. I got this cute little accent chair at the Goodwill bins for I think $3. This is where it lives just as a little decorative piece. And I am so sorry, but I am keeping this pillow for myself because I think it is perfect right here. I'm going to leave it out for the rest of spring and summertime. And we're going to have to be on the hunt for a fall pillow to put here next. Ooh, this big woven placemat. Love the color. Here's some glass vases. I really like the size and shape of these and I think I have an idea. I decided to take this placemat apart and it was actually really easy. I just used my fabric scissors and I cut the little strings that was holding it together and it started to come apart really easy. And once it was all apart, I was left with all of this kind of basket rope textured stuff to use for this project. So I'm gonna take my basket string and I'm going to hot glue it around the glass vase. I made sure that the bottom was adhered really good and tight and that made it a lot easier to go around the entire piece. So I just kept hot gluing and holding my piece down. And I feel like, you know, I might've paid 50 cents for this placemat, but had I bought this kind of textured woven rope at the crafts supply store I feel like it would have been way more than 50 cents so I think this is a great idea to look for something that you could possibly take apart and use it in this way so I just kept going around and hot gluing my pieces on until I got to the very top and it really did not take long at all this is a piece I had in my stash. I bought it from the bins, of course, and I think it was on maybe a light fixture, you know, to hide the electrical cord. But I was like, cool, this looks like basket material. I think I could use this for something. And I was gonna use it to create some little handles on the side, but then I thought, what about a basket necklace? That would be adorable. So that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut off one chain so that I could get it to the size that I want. And I'm just going to hot glue the closure back together. This is a basket I had in my stash. I always pick them up when I find them. They look great with a plant, but also watch this. This glass vase fits perfectly in here. We don't have to do any work. We just put the two pieces together and it instantly looks so much more high end. All right, we got three vases, so I gotta do something to all of them. This last one I actually want to paint. I'm going to put a coat of Dixie Belle bonding boss on it. It comes in white, clear, and gray, so I chose white. That way, I already have a base coat on it, but basically it is so that your paint will stick to any surface. It's a great primer. It's also a problem solver, so if you have bleed through or anything like that, this is definitely the product for you. So I'm gonna slap a quick coat of the Dixie Belle Bonding Boss in white on this glass vase. Next, we're gonna mix up our paint. I'm gonna be using Fusion Paint in the color Chateau and the Dixie Belle Sea Spray Additive. Look at this Chateau color. I call it drop cloth because it, look at it, it looks like the color of drop cloth. And then I'm adding my additive. I did about half paint with half Sea Spray and you're gonna mix it up. I want it to be super textured because I want this glass vase to look like a piece of pottery. I'm just going to brush on the paint because I wanna see all those brush paints and all of that texture. And what I did to try to keep my line straight is I put it on a Lazy Susan and I just went around the vase. I ended up putting two coats of paint on here and you can see how much texture this created. So do y'all think this looks like an actual piece of pottery? Would you think that this started out as a glass vase? And I also think that this piece needs its own chain basket necklace. 
I love how all three of these came out. I am not sure if I could pick a favorite, but if you have a favorite, leave a comment below. Let me know which one you like best. And if basket chain necklaces becomes a new trend on pottery, I don't think I'm going to be mad about it. If you do not know what Squarespace is, it is an online hosting platform, and that is who actually hosts my e-commerce store, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. And whether you have an online store, a local business, if you just want to create a portfolio or blog or offer a service, Squarespace has so many different options to host your website. So Squarespace has everything that you need to grow your business online. You can create a website using their very easy to use templates, designer fonts, color palettes. You can easily create an e-commerce store and you can also market your business by connecting your social accounts and by using their email campaigns. Squarespace is extremely user friendly. Even if you have no designer background, they have all these templates for you to pick from. It is really so easy, you guys. So if you're interested in trying out Squarespace, y'all go to squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs, and they are giving my viewers 10% off when you use code Julie's Designs and Signs, and I will have a link to everything in the description below for y'all. Look at this thing. I have no clue what this is actually used for, but I do have an idea for it. Right off the bat, I thought this would be a really cool little picture holder. It's unique, it's different, and I absolutely love the texture. So I thought it would look good. I love getting these glass pitchers and just putting stuff in it. And I also added a little twine and a little greenery, and I thought it looked pretty cute hanging in my foyer as well. Look at these bird bookends. They are heavy. It says made in Korea. These would be really fun to paint. Besides the chipping on the paint, I don't see any major chips on them. If you watched my video a few weeks ago, or maybe you didn't, I'll leave a link in the description in case you didn't. I transformed this pottery piece I found at the bins into this amazing piece using the Dixie Belle Patina products. So I thought I would try it again with these bookends, but I wanna use a different color this time. So let's experiment and see how it comes out when we use the bronze patina paint instead of the iron like I used on this piece. Just like the last piece, I'm gonna take some fusion paint and some Dixie Belle sea spray and I'm gonna mix it together. And this is gonna give me some really nice thick te textured paint. And I'm just going to stipple it on a few spots on my bookends, especially the spots that have chips. And also on the wings, I wanted lots of texture. So you just stipple it on, you're gonna create some peaks. Like you want it to be, your paint to kind of be standing up and you'll see why later in the process. Then I'm gonna add Dixie Belle Patina Paint in the color bronze. It does come in three different colors, iron, copper, and bronze. I ended up putting about two coats of paint on these bookends. And once it was completely dry, I took my sander and I sanded it down. So you remember earlier how I told y'all you want to create peaks in your textured paint? That is so we could sand it back smooth and all of that white texture would come through the bronze paint. Now this is where the magic happens. Y'all know I love the combination of the blue and the green patina spray. I just find it gives the most realistic look on all of the colors of the patina paint. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of blue, I'm gonna spray a little bit of green, and I'm just gonna dab it lightly with a paper towel um, just to keep those spray marks to a minimum. So this is what it ended up looking like, and I am not loving the white coming through. I feel like it's just too much of a contrast I think with the bronze a darker color would have been a lot better maybe a black or something so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to take a little bit of the bronze patina paint and I'm just going to rub it on top and blend it all in and I'm not going to add any more spray to it but what's going to happen is the spray that is under it will continue to react to it and you're 
you you will continue to have a chemical reaction unless you put the patina guard on top of your piece that is what stops the reaction and keeps it looking exactly like you want it to and this is how the final piece came out. I definitely like it without the white coming through so strongly, but you know, that's how you learn what you like and you don't like. You experiment, you try things out. If it doesn't work, it's only paint guys and you can repaint it. So y'all tell me what y'all think. What finish do you prefer better? The bronze patina paint or the iron patina paint? Leave a comment below. This is a metal meat grinder and you have seen me style these before. You can add them to a shelf or the side of a cabinet and add some greenery to it. But a viewer told me about another idea and I just have to share it with y'all. So grab a book, grab your meat grinder, twist it so the book is held tightly, then turn it over and it sits on a stack of books. How cute is this? Now it's a little shelf that you can style. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. What do y'all think about this idea? All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. Please leave a comment below and let me know what was your favorite project that we worked on today. And don't forget that all the paint, products, IOD, and home decor can be found on my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. And if you're interested in starting your own website, y'all go to make sure to check out squarespace.com slash juliesdesignsandsigns. And they have a 10% off coupon code for my customers and I will have everything linked in the description. Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next week for another DIY and decorating video.